My name is Maggie Scott and I work primarily with textiles. I make felt. The exhibition is called Five Times More and that's actually because about two years ago I discovered these extraordinary statistics, some government statistics, that stated that black women are five times more likely to die in childbirth than white women. And to be honest, I was flabbergasted by that and couldn't quite believe it. So I did a bit of research and indeed, there are a lot of statistics that have been published about what happens, the discrepancy that happens between white women giving birth and people of color giving birth. So hence the title, Five Times More. And the work is really an exploration of that, of, of what that might mean. And I've tried to, over the last two years, look for images, create images that interrogate and discuss and talk about and have feelings about this extraordinary statistic. And actually, since I've been working on this, there have been several groups that have started up, several campaigns to try and improve these outcomes. So, yeah, it's felt a very important subject to explore. Everybody is, but I consider myself an activist. I'm active within the communities that I belong to, and I'm interested in change. So it's not that the work particularly asks questions or gives answers. I'm interested in things changing. I'm interested in moving things along. So I try to make work that will inspire, question, interrogate, but that's not enough. The idea is that if you look at this work in particular, you might be interested in the colors, the textures, the content, the background. But what I want is that when you leave the exhibition, you feel sufficiently perhaps outraged, angry, cross, curious, so that things will change. That's very important to me. I think artists get to do whatever they want to do. I have no, um, pers you know, I have no rules about that. But what I'm interested in doing is making art that isn't a rehearsal of despair and distress, but is actually, hopefully, inspiring our society, our people, to take action. pieces in this particular exhibition that were the pivotal felts for all the other pieces and the five times which is the five faces with their eyes wide open clearly happy to be pregnant basically collaged with some of my imagery juxtaposed with the same women with their eyes shut and Again, it's those, it's those gut feelings, those gut responses. Once I collage them, because the way I work is the photograph is just the base, 
I then superimpose other imagery on top of it. You know, how do you talk about death? Because that's what we're talking about here. The fact that these five women are likely to die in childbirth. I don't feel it's useful to rehearse the distress and the drama. I think that makes people feel uncomfortable, guilty, uh, sad, many, many, many feelings, but none of them are inspired to take action. And that's what I'm looking for. Across, I think you have to draw people in so they have to want to see the piece they want to have an engagement with the color the aesthetic if you like if you look at the five closed eyes I call them sleeping beauties it's an ambiguous title because they are very beautiful and they could be asleep or they could be dead and what concerns me is they could be dead they are dead effectively because of what's been going on I just feel it's important to find a way to talk about a difficult subject in a way that it can be received. I'm very lucky working with felt actually because the nature of felt softens everything. If you like, it's not even something that's out of focus, it's furry, it's gentle, it's enticing. You want to touch it, you want to come closer. These outer pieces touch. They weren't specifically about five times more. I think I wanted to talk about the fact that, you know, all mothers, all females, there's a real physiological thing going on in, in a woman's body. And so these three were really, if you like, a complement to the five times more. It's, it's sort of saying, you know, this is such a joyful, normal, regular thing that happens all over the world, all of the time. And how devastating it must be if you die in childbirth. Having these three were kind of a reminder that, you know, what a wonderful thing to make new humans and how, how extraordinary, I mean, I speak as a mother and now a grandmother, how extraordinary it is to have your body transformed into this vessel that can create another human. And consequently, how devastating to think of all the many things that can go wrong in pregnancy, there's also this additional risk and primarily based on an institutionalized racism that really doesn't listen to black women.